My name's Tom Terrell, Superintendent of Schools at Byers School District uh, in Byers, Colorado. Uh, Byers is a rural community. We have 550 students. We have about 37 teachers. Over the time that I've spent in Byers, it's, it's very apparent that the facility has been neglected. The weight room, you can see the back of the weight room there. Some of the, one of the windows there still has some bars on it, but they won't, uh, they won't lock from the inside. So we tried to put some bars on there and those bars over time have fallen off and uh, the wood has come out of the plaster on those walls. We've tended to see the roof up above uh, is, is in dire needs as well. You see the water coming through underneath the plaster and it's the, the, the plaster peeling off there. It would be the oldest building on the facility. Uh, I think built in the, the late 50s. Let's go look at the VOAG building then. So this is the, so this right here, as we're going right here, this is the VOAG building. Yeah. And as we're kind of just walking up on this building, you can kind of see some of the, some of the problems right here. I mean, the brick is basically just coming apart. Yeah, it, it is. It's deteriorating and every, every year it gets just a little bit worse. Uh, uh, my holes up here. I've, I've just got one little bit there and I'm going to be on the inside. We've got a, you know, you look at that and you say, well, how can we patch it to, uh, to make repairs and make it through another school year or another season? And as you can see, that's kind of, kind of rough to, to do. Our oxygen acetylene uh, station there for our uh, torch and cutting. I've talked about that. This is an area that we need to have an emergency shutoff. We need to have a, a building that has the oxygen and the acetylene stored separately. Uh, again, we don't have that, um, but it's something that obviously we, we try and budget for, but it's, it's quite a ways out. As you look up above, these, these lights here were lights that were taken out of the gym when some of those lights were replaced, but when they got put up, they they haven't been put up properly and haven't been, it wasn't done by a, a, a licensed electrician. So we haven't got those hooked up yet because we haven't been able to afford to bring out that electrician to go ahead and do that hookup. You know, Tom, as I pan back up and kind of look at the ceiling here, I'm seeing a lot of holes in the ceiling. Yeah. Tell me about that. You know, it's a, it's the insulation on the top and over time, if uh, if you got a lot large stick, uh, stick of rebar or a stick of, stick of uh, metal or something that at one point in time has been hit. So it's not the fact that some of these things in here are working, it's the fact that this building just needs to be taken down and started all over again. Yeah, you hate to, you hate to say that, but yeah, that, that would be the, the ideal. You could, you could, we piecemeal it together, a um, little bit here, a little bit there, so they've still got their facility, but to do it right, it needs to, it needs to come down and we need to start over. You can kind of see this wall here and you can kind of see how it bows in. Now I'm gonna step inside and I don't know if, obviously I don't want to push a wall over. But. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See it, so let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if we can see it. Again. Okay. You can see that that wall really has no. There's no support on it at all. So obviously we try and put a structure in front of it where the kids will never be. Um, but the hazard in itself, if that would ever come down, that's going to create a, an incredible safety hazard for the kids. I'll ask you point blank. Do you need a new school? You need a new campus? You need everything bulldozed? Need a, need a new school. Need a new campus. That's this right. one's run its course, huh? Uh, the older parts of the campus definitely need to be done again.